Back in my day, we didn't have fancy databases that would build searches for you. We would have to build our searches with all those ands, ors, and nots from scratch. And uphill, and in the snow, well, maybe not, but things certainly have gotten easier. We're going to start by using an EBSCO database since that's what most of you will be searching. And the first step in building a search is to go to the advanced search screen. Look, it's our friends, and, or, and not. And is the default and that's how I like to keep it. We'll just be writing our ors out ourselves and we'll see that in a second. So my example topic is going to be on how animals can be used as treatment for those suffering from anxiety. This is a psychological topic, so I'm in the database PsychInfo, which focuses on psychology and counseling and related issues. So we're going to look at combining searches by doing a basic search first. We're just going to include one word or phrase for each concept. So my basic concepts are animal therapy and anxiety. The different concepts go on different lines and we're combining them with the word and. When we use and, we're telling the database to search for articles that include both concepts, both animal therapy and anxiety. All right, so this search did find some things and maybe some of them are relevant, but at least the first few are not. Let's see, two and three focus on rats. The fourth one, I don't have any idea what that means at all. The fifth one, sort of relevant, but this is not a great search. Let's try this again by adding additional terms to represent our concept. We're going to combine all of the words that represent one concept with the Boolean operator OR. OR will make our search bigger. So my first concept here is animal therapy. I'm going to put in as many words or phrases as I can think of, which mean basically the same sort of thing. And some databases will try to help you out, which is great. So PsychInfo is trying to suggest maybe you want pet therapy or animal assisted therapy. And I think those are all great ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and accept their suggestion. I am going to change a couple of things around. The first thing I'm going to do is put each phrase in quotes. This will force the database to actually search the phrase as a phrase instead of just looking for the word animal or the word therapy. Some databases do this automatically, but I like to just to make sure by putting it in quotes. Another thing that I change is that I like to put my ORs, my ANDs, or my NOTs into all caps. It's not essential, but it helps me keep the search straight in my mind, which is always helpful. All right, so I have the different synonyms for the first concept on the top line. Now I need to look at additional terms for anxiety. You don't always have to add additional terms, but in this search I have found that anxiety seems to be limiting, so I might want to add the additional term depression. The database is trying to suggest additional terms. You can accept that, or you could ignore it, or you can take whichever terms you want. I'm just going to stick with depression. And now we're going to go ahead and search. This didn't add a lot of additional articles. We're only up to 137, but if you look through the titles, they look to be much more relevant than our last search. If you have additional concepts, go ahead and add them on to the additional lines. You can continue adding more if you want to, but my general rule of thumb is you pretty much want to max out at three concepts per search. Two, probably even better. Just to show you that other databases have similar search capabilities, here's what building a search in PubMed looks like. So again, you want to go to the advanced search screen, and there are our Boolean operators right there. Hooray! And so I'm going to change my search up a little bit. I'm trying to find articles on the concept of bullying in the field of nursing. So my first concept I'm going to say is nurses. And I'm going to use a truncation symbol here. This will ask the database to look for variations in this word. In this case it's going to look for nurse or nurses. I could make it shorter. If I did this it would also look for nurse, nursing, nurses. I don't want to over truncate because then they can find too much stuff and can be irrelevant. Generally you don't want to truncate anything less than three to four letters. So this is going to be my first concept. That pretty well covers that. I'm sticking with and and my next concept is bullying. So I will do bully and I'm going to truncate that so that will look for bully or bullying. I could do this, and this will look for bullies as well, but I've done that search enough times that I've found that that over truncates and brings up some really weird stuff. Now I'm going to add some other concepts. One of the terms that I have seen a lot in the literature related to this is the phrase lateral violence. And another term is incivility. And just like with the EBSCO databases, you can add additional terms on this 
extra line, or you could ignore it, and we'll go ahead and search. This found a little over 600. This isn't the world's best search. I see a few things that would probably work, but quite a few others that don't. These searches don't always work out. That's okay. That really is part of the process. If you have too few results, you might have too many concepts and not enough synonyms. If you have too many results, you might have too many synonyms and not enough concepts or not enough ands. Or the terms you're using are way too common. If you want, you can pull up an article and look to see what subject headings were used and you can search on that instead. There are a lot of options to searching. I will be the first to tell you that you can run a totally okay search without all of the stuff. If you get overwhelmed with this, go back to a basic keyword and or subject heading search. I want you to try out this kind of searching, but if it doesn't work for you, it's not a big deal.